everybody and welcome back to my craft room the card that I'm going to be making today is using these dies and these are the nested tag dies uh, you get five in them I'll just show you the bigger one and they've got the stitched edged as well um, and they were I paid £2.78 from them for them sorry and they were from Ncraft on Aliexpress however I've had a little look around and I found them a bit, a bit cheaper at £2.07 so I will put in the description at the end uh, where I found those from it'll just save you a couple of pence and um, every little else in the crafting world doesn't it we all want to buy nice things so every little penny helps us so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a tag now obviously you could use the tag just as a tag to, as, as just to put on a gift I'm going to make the tag but and then I'm going to put it on to a card now what I've done first is I'm just working on a white a6 card um, and I've cut I'll show you what I've cut first first of all I've just cut myself a white tag and that's using the biggest tag die that one and then I've cut myself um, a pack one using the pattern paper which is the middle one and then to cut a frame I've used the second and third dies down and that makes my little frame a little white frame there so that's what I've done for them the paper that I've used is this one here um, to be quite honest with you I'm not too sure where I got it from I think it was um, I think it was from the range quite a while back but that was that one anyway so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to work on I'm going to do a little shaker tag so to start off with what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get my I cut myself a piece of acetate which is just slightly bigger than the tag so I'm gonna stick the acetate on the back of the tag and I did use wet glue for it when I made it yesterday and it worked okay so why does this glue always do this to me when I'm on camera any other time it's fine let's have a look if that's it sorry about that again right there we go we're working now so i'm going to put this piece of acetate on the back of here and like i said i'll cut it just slightly bigger just so it'll stay around the sides so i've just popped it on there can you see that there i'm just going to hold it press onto it just for a minute like that so we can just see it at the top there so what I'll do is I'm just going to trim that little piece that's showing around the top there and you don't have to because you can't really see it but I know it's there so I'm going to trim it on this piece as well there piece down the side right next to make the shaker card we need something to make our shaker element stay inside the card so what I've done is I've run out of shaker tape so I've just used my foam tape and I've just tried to cut it into thin strips so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to put the one layer of this foam tape around the tag with a little hair on it there so just take a little minute a little bit of patience to put it around neatly especially when all your tabs are getting all tangled up so I'm going to use one at a time instead of trying to use two so I'm just checking along the way that you can't see underneath you know the, the tape at the back you can always cut it off when we're finished but if we just check as we're going along it just saves you a job later and I'm all in a pickle with all this tape now just stick that bit there and take that bit off because that bit doesn't want to stay on the thing so like I said it's hard to cut your tape to actually fit bang on the tag but you just take a little bit of time just to, just to put it around the edge of your card of your tag sorry because you don't want any of the little shaker bits falling out at the end so just do it like that much easier if you've got actual proper shaker tape but I've run out of it so we'll just have to compromise today with this one and then I'm going to use the one that's a little bit thicker Oops. 
sorry. It's just at the top where the tag is, it's the hardest bit really. As long as actually round, you've sealed round the edges properly, then all your shaker bits don't fall out. Because I have done that before now. It takes a little bit of patching up, but get there in the end. So I'm just going to trim that piece on the end there. And then what I'm going to do then is I'll put them round once. And then going to put, the, put another layer on. So we'll just take this layer off, first layer. Just then it's got a little bit of depth so that the whatever it is you're putting inside your shaker card will stay inside, not fall out everywhere. So we'll just have to cut some more strips. So if we'll just be patient for a minute. So we'll just got a little piece there so I can actually stick that one on. You can see what I'm doing here, I'll just show you. I'm just putting the tape all around the outside, the double-sided tape. And I'm just putting it as close to the edge of the acetate as I can. So I'll put this piece off. You just have to remember where you've doubled up, but you can see by the height where you've put the double, the double tape. This is really sticky tape, this one. What you can do at the end, you can always turn it over if you've gone over the edge and just trim off the excess. I mean, it is quite a fiddly little job, but it has to be done for the shaker card to stay together. Right, I just need another little piece up there, and then I think I've done done right around the edges twice. Just cut that little piece off, it's a little bit thin, that piece. So... There we go, almost done. Just a little piece at the top there. And then I think that should do it. Right. So as you can see now, when I turn it over, let's just get rid of all the excess there. As you can see there, there's a tint. I've got a little bit showing at the top up here and a little bit at the bottom, so I'm just going to trim that off. When you push it in, you can't see it. So, I'm just going to make sure that that's all nice in there. Right, so there we go. So there's the shaker, the tag that I'm going to put the shaker elements into. So now next, <clears throat> I've cut myself this little mat that's going to go behind this window if you like there and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to decorate that a little bit i've just got a little butterfly that i'm just going to stick on the top i'm just going to measure where we need to put it make sure it will go over um yeah I can put about there down there so i've just put that little butterfly in there now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to put the shaker element inside I'm just using my embossing body just to go, if you go around the edges with it, it stops everything just sticking all to the edge. That card, that piece doesn't feel very sticky at all. I hope it sticks now. Right, so what I'm going to put in, I've got a variety of things. I'm going to put a few of these little pink tiny beads in. She says, so she can get over the packet. And I'm just going to pop a few of those in. I'm going to pop some of these mixed sequins because I've got some green, red and yellow which are all in the card. Pop that and I don't want that letter one in, let's take that out. And then I'm going to put in some of these tiny little pink, tiny, tiny little pink beads. I'm just going to take some of them in carefully. And I think that should be enough. Next, what we've got to do is carefully take off the backing off the foam tape. I couldn't think of the word I needed to use then. So 
So I think I've got it all off there. Now obviously we can't tip that up. So what I need to try and do is get this piece and try and put it. So I'm just going to pop it. Actually, first of all, sorry, I'm going to, I did cut a piece here and I'm going to stick this pattern paper onto this white piece just to give it a little bit of strength. So what I'll do is I'll just pop some glue on quickly. I thought I had cut a piece of card, but I couldn't see it on my desk. It just gives it that bit more strength when you put the back of the shaker bit on top. So, there we go, so that's where I'm up to at the moment, so I've just popped that back in on there. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and put this into there. So I'll just put some more glue around the edges of this and hopefully we should get it to stick down. I just think I used tape on my other one that I made, but it doesn't matter as long as we've got it stuck down. So, stick with the foam pads as well. Just pop that on there and hopefully press all the edges down. Finish putting the little tag together there. And what I'm going to do is I've got a few little decorations to pop on there. I've got two little presents that I'm going to pop, one at each side. These are just little things I've found in my stash. I'll stick one there and one there. And then I've got a nice heart there, which I found again in my stash that I'm just going to stick just to hide that first tag there at the top. So there we are, if you can see that, looks really nice. So, and then I've got myself a little sentiment here. This was another one out of my stash. And that one just says, just to say. And all as I've done is I've just folded the edges back just to make like a little span and a spring that I can stick it across the front of the card so I'm going to stick that on with wet glue and there and that will just fit nicely across the middle of the card middle of the tag rather so there we go the shaker tag and then finally to finish the tag off I've got myself a piece of pink string and it's just string any string twine whatever you've got in your stash and I'm just going to make the little tag complete by popping this through the little hole at the top she says and she can get it through quite thick this string to be honest I think I should have picked something a bit thinner twist it a little bit the heart sticking up from the top of the tag so it's stopping me from pushing it through and that's a bit yeah there we go so and you can use whatever you've got in your stash can't you just a little bit of twine will be good enough just to, to put your tag on and now that depends there you go so there's the tag all finished so you could like i said just pop that on to a present as just a, a greeting like that but I'm going to pop mine onto a card today so I've chosen just a green base and a piece of the pattern paper that I used on the back of the tag as well and I'm just going to pop this one on um, I think I'll use the tape runner for this one I'm just going to pop this piece of green <laughs> why does it do this to me every time Right, I've got another one here. Let's try this one. Bought from Create and Craft, not recommended. Don't buy very much from there, but I've seen these on us and I'm not that impressed with them if I'm honest with you. So we're just going to pop that just into the middle of there like that. And there we go. So I've just put that paper on there. I'm just going to trim off this excess that's just on the bottom here. And then I've got my little A6 card. And I'm going to pop that onto the card. Um, this will be my last video until next week. I'm going away for the week. Uh, well, I'm going away for five days tomorrow with my mum. We're going down south to visit my brother. Um, 
so I'm really looking forward to that so I'll be back we come back next Sunday so I'll start again Monday or Tuesday when I get back so there we go I've just put that card and that pattern paper onto the base card and then I'm going to stick my tag into the middle of the card there and I'm going to use this tape runner for that hopefully just so it stays in place and like I said yeah you can just use it as a little tag I could make some little tags up and I'm just going to put that at a little angle there and then I'm going to trim me the ends of the tags down Excuse me, and there we go. That's the little shaker tag that I've made for today with that die. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for stopping by and watching my videos. Um, any questions at all, pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you with the answers. Um, you can always check in the description, I always put where you can contact me email, blog, blog address, and different things. So, thanks again, guys, for joining me today, and I'll be back soon. Bye.